One of the best value entry level setups is the RTX 3060 paired with the 10th gen 10400F. Let's see how this one runs in Warzone. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Side by side running from A to B benchmarks on this setup. Pretty good results, right? Now, obviously these results can be very subjective. Let's do this again, but this time we're going to zoom in so you can check out if there's any difference in image quality. Take note, these are just theoretical A to B running benchmarks. We need to look at how this one performs in actual real world scenarios where we focus more on systems response on critical moments. Now, before we carry on with our discussion and analysis, this video wouldn't be complete without our gameplay memes. Besides the FPS, try to focus on our frame times. Okay, let's go. Hello, Bozo. analysis here we've tested this in rebirth it's not as graphically intensive as caldera but it should show us how it relatively would perform in a crowded environment starting off at 1080p raw gpu utilization can be fully utilized dependent on the scene fps is quite good at around 130 to 150 at the roof frame times are likewise very stable gpu power is around 120 watts at most which is quite good um, we are using a 16GB kit in this setup and it seems to handle the RAM very well. When we turn on quality DLS, is FPS improvements is not very obvious. This is probably because most of the time we are not in a GPU bound scenario. It pulls through when we run into a GPU bound scenario which can be very rare here at Rebirth. Everything is more or less the same. FPS hovers around 140 when we are at the roof and the only noticeable difference here is the VRAM which has increased from 6 gigabytes. Gigabytes. At 1440p DLS is GPU is now maxed out and this shows as our FPS now drops to 120 when we are at the roof VRAM continues to increase a little bit and pushes the power of the GPU to above 130 watts and frame times remain stable at 1440p raw performance definitely takes a hit FPS now hovers less than 120 and can drop to even less than 100 frame times have increased and I definitely wouldn't use this from all our testings I'll probably just stay with 1080p DLS is yes there is some graphical difference but the increase in fps is well worth it and if you're interested on a relatively faster and cheaper cad for warzone check this video right here and i'll see you guys over there